y'all. It's American Mom. I just finished episode three, did the review, ready to see episode four. I want to see what's happening with Carmela. We didn't get to see any of her in the last episode. Yeah, just ready to get right into this one. So let's do this. We're at the Soprano house. I thought maybe I rewound it. What's going on? Oh, AJ's practicing. Something's going to go wrong. He's still harboring some feelings. He's looking at this house and he was in the big house for can't find a thing. 15 years. Yeah. They will probably go through their entire lives not knowing that their father's sperm was smuggled out of jail to get Nancy pregnant. It was the least I could do. I don't know. Panic attack! Is this one of your attacks? I think it's just indigestion. <gasps> that means a heart attack. Going away. No. A lot of people think they're having a uh, indigestion and it's a heart attack. And I told this kid to start cracking the books. Was he supposed to do that after he got back from the Nets game you took him to on a school night? It's got to be hard for him, this situation with us. Why don't you cut him some slack? No, that's your department. I get to be the prison warden over here while you indulge him. Because I don't have to listen to this shit anymore. I'd like to That's not. why we're separated. <laughs> Are you why? kidding me, Tony? That is not why. Oh, that's, um... Hi, Lorraine. I'm Bill. Fuck! Jason! Oh, no! Where's the gun door? Jason! Okay. Oh, he's already dead. Money goes up to John. Damn it. Look at Lorraine and Jason. Again, in the middle of the day. Oh, fuck. Exactly. It's goddamn Johnny Sack. It's his message to the other captains, that fucking animal. Take it easy. Fuck that. Carmine Jr.'s gonna get involved. Tell me, Carmine. We go all out while steamroll right over John. Just, uh, talking about that mess over in New York. Sounds to me like your friend John wants to force little Carmine's hand. In my day, the top spot would have gone to little Carmine, unless he was actually retarded or crippled or something. He's the son. Here we go. Memory Lane. It's important these young guys know the history. Tell them about the time uh, Tony and Jackie April knocked over your card game. This one is fucking scared. First of all, it was my game. Feature's forgiven, even if he hasn't forgotten. But it's a great yarn, right, Feach? I came to ask for my game back. It's my uncle's game now, Feach. Yeah, right, your uncle's. I'll give you 20%, but you gotta rent the house from me. I could throw some high rollers your way. Friends of mine. Thank you're welcome. You're, you're about 80, you. so you know you're not gonna live much longer anyway. Take what you can get. Beach. Oh, hello, girls. Hey. 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 I don't. Oh. Bryce, how many times this guy gotta say hello? <laughs> <laughs> what did I interrupt one of your uh, impermeable stories? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Long story short. I got my shoe in a snatch. And it falls off and she keels over. Que puts. <laughs> I'm not gonna like that. <laughs> Father's well, Asa Silver, head of commercial paper at Goldman Sachs, Upper East Side. I didn't get my invitation. <laughs> I don't know when he's going to skip him, you know, I mean, but... Well, still, uh, there's this thing uh, with his grades. Do you think it would be a benefit to him to see a psychologist on a regular basis? <laughs> I'm going to have to agree with my husband here, Mr. Wegler. We sent our daughter to a, an adolescent developmentalist, and it was a disaster. I know my son, he's just lazy. We're gonna get him a different SAT tutor, and I'm gonna stay on him, and he's gonna work harder. And that's that. Dominica Paolini and Sasha Caputo, they were on their way to school this morning, and they hit a tree. Nick is dead. Mm. Sasha's in a coma. Who? What? Who? He was here when I got here. Tony will not stop. Whoa! Here's another oh, toy. An old baby at Xterra SE. It's loaded. 3.3 liter supercharged. But this is mine? He's studying. Yeah. You are unbelievable. Yep. Sticker's still on it. He doesn't have enough distractions? Screw it. Can we take it yeah, out? Yeah, put on your seatbelt. Yeah, seat we belt. can take it out. Once. 
Then this baby sits in the garage till you pull your grades up to a C. What? Hey, yeah, you Get heard out. your father. I was talking to him, not you. I gotta put dinner on. Tony, I have bills for you. Uh, I couldn't handle AJ. What? I can't go there. You better be nice to your mother. Oh my God. She's got the keys to your grades are up. I could strangle him sometimes. He can be so hateful. Yeah. Cheap sound system for the media room. Yeah, why should I pay for that? Because you took the last yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, your little movie connoisseur friends. You're still meeting? At least I have friends. What the fuck's that supposed to mean? Come on, Tony, you just have a bunch of flunkies. What do you know about it? They compliment you on your new shoes. They tell you that you're not going bald. You think they really care? You're the boss. They're scared of you. They have to kiss your ass, laugh at your stupid jokes. Well, what about Artie, then? You know, you're turning into a friggin' cynic. Yeah, whatever. What do I give a shit if they're scared or whatever? I'm running a fucking business, not a popularity contest. It came with a bathrobe and a basket full of Dr. Hauschka bath products. Ablution. The desire to cleanse himself of the deed. Notice he still fundamentally blames me. Mm -hmm. He's trying to have a civilized conversation. Yeah. Can I go to my room? I'm full. Am I so horrible? You are not horrible. You treat her that way. Get over yourself. Over myself? What is that supposed to mean? Oh, I can't stand this kid at this point. Let's go. Do me a big favor. Yeah. As in, leave the house. You don't like to eat anyway, you asshole. Go to your room. And then pack your shit and go live with your father. Bye. What do you get when you're crossing the counter with a giant jet airplane? A boring 747. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he thinks, he knows that's a dumb joke, and they're just, yep. We're gonna laugh at whatever he says. I've decided to let you stay in the city after the concert. How come? On one condition, though. No Hudson Suites. I talked to Med. She said that you can sleep over at her apartment. I just want Carmela to be happy. I, it's not happening yet. Now what are we doing? So, you guys like your job? <laughs> oh my God! I think his skull is broken. Oh my God! I'm a doctor. Let me in there. Look, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it up there. What are you talking about? You know Mom's gonna call here. I'm a total dick if I leave here. Just tell Mom I'm on my way up. She's just gonna call back. Come on, when do I ever ask you for anything? All right, you better stay there and be home on time tomorrow. I don't want any shit from Mom. This is what she gets for letting him have an itch because he's an asshole and he doesn't know how to listen. So, she's just trying to be nice to him because he's so mean. Hold it! Hold it! <laughs> what is that? I mean, they had one of those, you know, what do you call it, those car carrier things? And it was a very well-coordinated operation. I mean, the cops are on it, but, you know, how much faith have I got in that? You gotta help me before they're chopped. The crazy clue. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's what you get, you shit. Oh, fuck. Saved off him? Look! Yeah, you should see what your ass cheeks say. God knows what else. God, why did I let him go? He's all right. I'll take care of it. Will you? Well, just leave me alone. No, I want to know what happened. Yes. You never even went to Meadows after you gave me your word. Get yep. off my back. You are a liar. Fuck you. <gasps> Get back here. Oh, ow. Help her. I'm this close You're to being done with AJ. Take his car. Take it. There you go. He cursed at me. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. What did he say? I was just taking out the trash. It's garbage day tomorrow. Oh, shut up. What's different about you? He has no eyebrows, Tony. He said the F word. You're finished. You're never going to drive that fucking car till you're 45 years old. Good. I'm selling it tomorrow. Good. She wouldn't let me talk. I was trying to tell her what happened. Oh, see, it's my fault. I had a few beers, but it just made me sick. How can anybody believe what you say? Because I told you. You never believed me. A couple of beers. No, you get him drug tested. Should be grounded, yeah, but it's not the end of the world. What? He can go live with you. Don't get dramatic now, all no. right? No, what? Great, good. Shut up. I have never been more serious in my life. Thank you. 
It's my fault, Tony. My pathetic need to compete with you clouded my judgment. Or I never would have let him stay over in New York. I knew he wasn't ready. I, I went against all of my instincts. His eyebrows will grow back. Nothing really happened. No, you know what happened? I said, fuck it. And you know why? To get him to love me as much as he loves you. Over seat. Did he have something to do with the cars? You have anything to do with that wedding takedown in Ringwood? Why, that a problem? I told you that doctor was a friend of mine. I deliberately used that word. When were you going to tell me about it if I hadn't called you here? I'm here now. I'm telling you about it now. That's the second time I'm playing catch up with you. What the fuck are you talking about? The lawn cutting. What do I have to send you a memo every time I move my bowels to? Yeah, might as well. Johnny Sack told me about this guy in Newburgh. Johnny Sack? Yeah, Johnny Sack. Anyway, he gave me a better deal for shipping him home. Are you fucking serious? I said, as long as you don't step on anybody's toes. In my day. And that's another thing. I don't want to hear no more about how it was in your day. You just keep your antidotes to local color, like Dynaflows or McGuire Sisters or shit like that. Otherwise, shut the fuck up! <laughs> oh, we're zooming in on. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay. It's not okay. What's Tony gonna do? Dip it in the bud. Feach. Yep. What? Is that up? My imbecile cousin, he was welding his boat trailer, burns down his garage. Now we got no place to park the truck that we got. I got a garage right here. My cousin's mother's got a place we can lock it up there. Park the load here. This way I'm around. Supervisor Curran, parole board. Site business. <laughs> Where's Eddie Stimmage? Check out his garage. You. Oh, that's right. With the wrong person. Yeah, you're going back to prison. Beach. I just finally learned what his damn name was. Yeah, all right, that's enough. Go upstairs, do your Spanish homework. In 15 minutes. No, no. Yeah. Hmm. See what Carmela's had to deal with. That's where he's going to end up. AJ's going to end up like that or like Christopher. <laughs> Don't get beat. You bastard. I'm not running a fucking popularity contest. ba da ba she shouldn't feel bad for saying go live with your father. She couldn't do anymore. So first of all, AJ has got two strikes with me. One more little outburst toward his mother. I'm done with him. Christopher's here. AJ's going to be right there. He's moved up fast. So that happened. I finally learned the old guy's name that likes to relive the past because he's been, you know, away so long. And uh, his name's Feach, but he is stepping on toes and Tony told him not to. Can't keep his mouth shut. Carmela has gotten into Tony's head about a popularity contest that, that that's why the the gang laughs at his jokes and they listen to his stories and that, cause he's the boss and he, he pays the money. And he's like, no, cause it, what got him was her saying that she actually had friends when she wanted the, the media stuff replaced. So it, it's sort of true. I mean, he has some strong bonds and true friends. But his associates, it's a working relationship. And as we have seen, in past seasons, people that have been part of this have gone into the witness protection program and they're no longer with us. And it hurts them to have to do that, but it's business. That's, that's what reminds you it's business, even though it's hard and it's like, okay, you've been with me for a long time, but if you wear a wire, Big P, Ralphie, you did your shit and they could have whacked Beach off. And Tony was like, he's an old man. He just got out. But he couldn't let it go on any longer either. So we left off with Carmela. I think she's regretting that AJ is gone, but she really needs to just 
take time for her. Meet with their girlfriends again. Yeah, kids are teenagers and they go through their stuff, but they don't have to talk to you that way. So she needs to not feel that bad about it because he's with his father. It's not like he's on the streets and she's, you know what I mean? So she'll be fine, but it, you know, at the end she walks in after having this flashback of, uh, of AJ going down the drive little and gotta let him go. He's gonna make mistakes. Definitely. He's good at it. And by the way, Carmela went out on a date with this college prep person, <laughs> whoever he was. He seems nice. But I'm still wanting to know what happened to Furio. I enjoyed it. I uh, can't wait for next week's episodes. Thank you for watching this with me. Until the next video and the next time. Bye.